Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're going to be talking about treasure in Dark and Darker, which ones you're going to want to pick up, which ones you're going to want to leave on the ground, and uh, some strategies to uh, your looting to speed it up and to make getting your loot and getting out of there quick and efficient as possible. So we have a tier list here. We're going to make a tier list. There's a lot of items to go through, so this might take some time. Fair warning here. And let's get into it. We have the calculator to help us do some math. And we have all the treasure in the game listed in our notepad here. So we're going to uh, keep track of those. So as they're lined up in the notepad, so they're lined up in the tier list. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one. These images were taken from the Dark and Darker Wiki, which I have on my other monitor to my right. And we're going to take a look at these together. So the first one is the dotted gold bangle. So as you can see, they're all very similar looking and they can be a little confusing to parse out when you're in the dungeon. So let's get into it. This gold bangle looks like this and it has a little opening to the right. And the gold, ba the gold bangle is a one slot item. So First general tip number two, if you're going to stop the video here, the one slot items are the best treasures. So there you go. Don't have to watch the rest of the video, but if you're still here and you want to see the rest of the video, then we're going to go into it. So let's take a look at these one slot treasures. Because they're the best, we're going to go over them first, and we're going to see which ones are, are top tier and which ones are kind of not that great. But again, they're one slots, so they're better than all the other ones. <clears throat> So the first one is the dotted gold bangle. I'm going to take a sip of water here. Oh, excuse me, the allergies. <clears throat> Just a tree outside is shooting out pollen. So the dotted gold bangle, one slot. At gray level, all the one slots are the same price. So if it's gray and you have extra inventory space, just pick them up. Uh, if you're planning to go to the red, you're probably going to have to get rid of your gray treasures to pick up higher quality treasures. So keep that in mind as you're going through the dungeon. If you plan on escaping into blue first level, go ahead, just pick up everything, especially the one slots, and get out of there. So down to gold bangle, one slot, first tier, three gold, whatever. Second tier, the white tier, that is going to give you five gold. So you get... 66% more money uh, than the uh, gray tier. So obviously, if it's higher tier, it's a one slot. It's a no brainer. Switch it out with a one slot that's gray if you're running out of space. Now, <clears throat> because it, it gives you five, that is better than some of the other ones, which only give you four. But it is not as good as the two best ones, which give you six. So that is twice what a gray one is worth. But because it gives you five instead of four, and because it is a one slot item, therefore it is already really good, we are going to put this in the A tier. So if you see a dotted gold bangle, go ahead and pick it up, especially if it is white or above. Now, if you're going red, and you know you're going to get a lot of loot, you might just want to skip the white tier completely and only pick up green tier treasures. But then again, it's a one slot, so it's already really good. So keep that in mind. Next, we have the Glimmering Bangle. The Glimmering Bangle is a one slot, therefore it is pretty good. And it also, at the white tier, gives you five. So no brainer, same thing as the dotted gold. We're going to put it in the A tier pretty good treasure. Next time we have up is the gold band. Now the gold band, unfortunately, at white tier gives you four gold, so it is 33% worse than a white tier glimmering bangle or dotted gold bangle, so we're going to put it in the B tier because it's still a one slot item. It's still pretty good, but it is only worth one more gold than a gray version of itself, so keep that in mind. Now the next up we have the almighty leaf gold bangle this gives six gold at white okay six gold at white and 14 gold at green okay 14 gold compared to the 10 gold of the previous gold bangle and 11 gold for the uh glimmer and 
dotted gold. So it is more than twice, same with the white tier of the dotted gold and glimmer bangle, but it is six gold. So it is worth two gray treasures at white tier. So we're going to put that as S tier because it is simply so good, scales so well, and it is one of two of the single slot items that sell for the most in the higher tiers. So if you see this unique looking leaf gold bangle, pick it up. Light gold bangle, that's the next one. So the light gold bangle, it is an A tier bangle. It's gold, sells for five. Interestingly though, what sets this apart and why we're going to put it at the top of the A tier list, if we can do that, there we go, is because at the green tier, instead of selling for 11, it sells for 12. Okay, and that scales to the blue and the purple tier as well. So it is an upgrade over these two if it is green and higher. So keep that in mind. It's a little bit, I mean, if it's green, you're probably going to have it in your inventory anyway, but if you want to completely min-max it, memorize that the light gold bangle is actually a little bit better in the higher tiers than some of the other ones. Now we're going to get into it quickly here, the pattern gold bangle. This is another A tier, basically a duplicate of the dotted gold and glimmer bangle thus far. These numbers, again, are coming from the Dark and Darker wiki. They're subject to change, but this is how it is at this time. So pattern gold, pretty much the same as the dotted gold and the glimmer bangle and the light gold bangle. Then again, light gold's better. But it is at the bottom of the A tier because... It sells for four, similar to the gold bangle, but it it does sell for eleven at the white or at the green tier. So green tier is pretty good. We might, you know, actually we're gonna put it at the top of the B tier because it doesn't quite give you the premium that the A tier deserves. It gives you the the top of B tier because it can be better than its uh, predecessor, the gold band, in the higher tiers. So we're going to keep that in mind. It is at the top of the A tier, unlike the first two, the glimmer and the gold bangle, dotted gold bangle, uh, which are essentially duplicates of themselves. So the next up, we have the shine bangle. Now the shine bangle sells for five at white, 11 at green, 26 at blue. It is a duplicate of the first two. So pretty good one to get. It's decent, again, it's one slot. So uh, that is gonna be good for that one. Now the simple gold. Simple gold is simply the same as the pattern gold. So we're gonna put it at the top of the B tier with the pattern gold. So slightly better than the generic gold band. Uh, we have the simple gold bangle. So next up, we have the Slim Bangle. Now the Slim Bangle sells for five at the white, 12 at the green. So actually pretty good. It is similar to the Light Gold Bangle. In fact, it is a duplicate. So it's going to the top of the A tier. We'll put it right next to the, so see these little 12 o'clock facing gaps? Those are pretty good. It seems if it faces 12 o'clock, that means it's a little bit better than the, uh, the 6 o'clock facer, the 1 o'clock, and the 10 o'clock. And don't get me started on the 5 o'clock. Oh my gosh, disgusting. So we're down to the last two of the bangles, even though some of them are called bands, which is interesting. Uh, that might be an error, but let's uh, continue. So now we have a heavy hitter here. We have the triple gem bangle. This is exactly like the leaf gold bangle. So S tier. If it's got three gems, it's good. If it's got three leaves, it's good. That looks like five leaves. I don't know. It doesn't matter. If it's got leaves, it's good. Lastly, we have the turquoise gem bangle. Now this is another one of the at the green tier sells for 12 
and at the white tier sells for five. So we're going to put it at the top of the A tier. So if it has some, some color in it, some turquoise, you know that that is a good sign. It's going to be good. If it faces 12 o'clock, it's good. Little spark notes for you. So there we go so far. Now we're going to head over to the gems. Gems are just straight better than every other one slot item in the gray tier. Now, it does look like it scales even better just overall than everything else. I'm scrolling through here. Yep. The only difference is going to be in the blue tier for the leaf gold so the leaf gold s tier it's it's actually better in the blue tier than some of the gems not the diamond but let's get into it so the sapphire six gold at the gray so if you have a gray anything trade it for any gem the gems are just better uh, if you have a white anything and you have a white gem uh, trade it for the white gem. If you have any of the B tier, and even some of the A tier, in fact, oh, if gems are so good, if you have any gem, you can trade it for any gray or white tier, and you'll be safe. Uh, the leaf, the, the two S tier that we have, you'll be trading equal cost, so six gold for six gold uh in the gray tier remember this is the gray tier if it's a white tier gem just simply trade it for any white tier green tier trade for any green tier and for for blue you're pretty much safe to trade for any blue except a blue s tier so the leaf and the triple gem bangle are going to be better than blue sapphire emerald and ruby so we're going to throw these up. Diamond is just straight better. It's the best gem. And all the other gems are exactly the same. So diamond is bis. We're going to put it above here. Now, is the diamond ever worse? Or is it always on par or better? Let's see. Diamond is Diamond is better in the low tiers and on par with the other S tier bangles and leaves in the top tier. So gems, really, really good. Diamonds, the best. Let's keep going. We're down to the miscellaneous here. So we're getting into the kind of probably not as good items but let's just double check to make sure so great tier. these are still single slot we have the gem necklace now the gem necklace the gem ring the pearl necklace the gold candle platter all sell for three so if it's great tier, great tiers gouda all good just as good as any of the bangles in great tier. if we step up to the white tier now we're going to see where these kind of fall off the gem necklace sells for four, so that is going into the B tier. The gem ring sells for four. B tier, green tier, they sell for 11. So uh, it tracks pretty, pretty uh, okay. They're they're basically on par with some of the A tiers at the higher rarity. And let's see, at the blue tier, do they get? Okay, so only in the green tier is it at parity with some of the A tiers. So we're going to keep that kind of uh, still in the B tier. They're, they're okay, but you would usually much rather have a bangle. So necklace, ring, not the best. But the pearl necklace, the pearl necklace is okay. The pearl necklace is just straight A tier. So we're going to put that above. The pearl necklace is pretty good. It uh, it basically tracks with the rest of the uh, the rest of the A tier items, pretty much one for one here. So the gem necklace, gem ring, 
not the best. In fact, we're going to put them in the C tier. I know, I know they're cool, they're unique looking, but they're kind of just, they're just not as good. They can be sometimes, but only in the green, green tier. So green is generally good to snap up. So if it's green, obviously you're going to take it. It's a one slot, so it is still pretty good at the one slot. So now we're getting into the premium miscellaneous one tier or one slot item. So here we have the gold candle platter. Now this sells for three at gray, obviously, but sells for six at white and 14 at green. So that puts it in the same category as the triple gem bangle. Now let's take a look at the blue tier here. Yep, 40 or 30, then 51, then 85. That is the same for the S tier leaf and bangle. So if you see these little platters, snap them up. That is S tier right there. So now we're going to get into what I consider to be loot that you probably just don't want to pick up. Okay, You're going to get a lot of one slot uh, treasure. That's just that's what you want. Now, one thing we're not mentioning here. Uh, which I probably should have mentioned in the beginning, but if you're watching this far, this is for you. If you get a gold pile, a gold pile stacks to 10. If you can stack it to 10, obviously 10 is pretty much better than any of the one slot bangles and gold. 10 is equal to or less than if it's diamond of the gems at the white tier. But if you get a green, green is better than... A green one slot is better than uh, a 10 gold pile, so keep that in mind. Also, if you take a bag in, you can stack it to 50. That's going to be better than pretty much everything, even up to purple tier. Only some purple ones sell for uh, more than 50, which is going to be 51. Okay, and that's your S tier items, right? Um, the, the S tier gems at the bottom are only selling for 48 so not as good as a full gold pack but how many people have full gold packs are you going to find gold packs in the dungeon if you do obviously pick them up especially if they have 50 in it if they have more than 10 that's better than a white treasure and uh so keep that in mind on to the two slot items now the two slot items they're not good guys they're not good this, the, the ceremonial dagger, not only does it take up two slots, right? So it has to be twice the gray value at gray level of a single slot item. The ceremonial dagger, dagger sells for four, right? Okay, so if you divide that in half, that's two gold per slot. That is 33% less gold than just putting two gray items in there. Obviously, if you have inventory space, nothing else to pick up. A two slaughter is going to be better than nothing. But if you are confident you're going to find more loot, Maybe just don't pick it up. Just don't pick it up. Okay. So long story short, just don't pick it up. It's pretty much it's pretty much half or less of the value uh, than a one slot item. So we're gonna put this. We're gonna put this. Oh my god. I mean, there's even worse things, guys. So we're gonna put it in C tier at the bottom. Now, same story goes for the next three items so these items are all duplicates so goblets chalices they're all worth the same every single tier two slaughters pretty much pretty bad but now we're getting into the really really bad loot okay guys just just don't pick these up if you have no if you have space and it's a very if it's like green or blue Sure, maybe, fine. But these are four slot items, guys. Okay, so the gold bowl, four slots sells for six. You're, oh God, okay. So you're getting like, what is that? All right, let's use the calculator. Let's use this, so six. Is it six divided by four? No. All right, that's four. Again, guys, math is not my strong suit. Four divided by six. Uh, I don't know, okay. So uh, three divided by one, right? You're getting three gold per one slot. Okay, but if you're getting six 
divided by four. You're getting okay. You're getting half the gold per slot. I don't know. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. That's all I can say. It's not good. The gold bull sells for six, so that's that's worth two bangles. So you're you're taking up four slots for two slots worth of gray gear. So it is it is uh it is worth two gray slot items at a single slot ratio. So D tier. Now these are all the same. These are all the same. Even the gold crown. Okay, the gold alright, so so the gold bowl at white is slightly better than these three. So the bowl is actually better than the gold candle holder, the gold candelabra, and the gold crown. Okay, it is when I say slightly better, I mean it is worth one more gold in the white tier than the uh, other. The this is the worst of them all, so it's going at the bottom. It's it's one gold less in white, um, and it's three gold less in green. Whereas the gold bowl only leads by one gold in uh, essentially every category until they get to blue, where these are all worth the same. Same goes for purple, and uh, the the gold watering pot. Just just don't pick them up, okay? Like if you have space, sure. I mean that's I say it every time. If you have space and you're just gonna get out, or if you have nothing. Yeah, sure, pick it up. They're also really easy to drop uh, and make room in your inventory, so there's that. Uh, but essentially, if you if you if you can find like a four slot, like some boots that are good, okay. Boots that are good usually sell for fifty to one hundred fifty, uh, depending on the rarity. But even a fifty gold item minus fifteen for the trade fee, you're looking at thirty five gold. That is the same as finding a. That's like the same as finding a green tier, uh, one of these, plus 10 gold, okay? In some cases, plus 14 gold. So instead of these four slot items, I suggest picking up some decent gear and trying to sell that, okay? Now, the last one, Ancient Scroll, it is utter garbage, okay? At six slots, it sells for 10. Mm -hmm. So for, for two more slots, you get four more gold in the gray for uh, these these uh, four slot items. So uh, it's it's slightly better ratio. Actually, I gotta do some math here, right? I'm not good at math, so I'll I'll have to do the math later. But uh, you know what? Let's do the math now. Let's do the math now. Okay. So for six slots, you get ten gold for six slots. Uh, does that mean 1.6 gold per slot? Okay, and for for a water pot, that's 6 divided by 4. That's 1.5 gold per slot. So the ancient scroll is actually better than the 4 slots in the gray tier. Let's see if it's better in the, in the white tier. We see 15 gold divided by 6. That's 2.5 gold per slot. That's getting close to gray tier single slot. Okay. Let's look at the average is 10 gold for the four slotters. So 10 divided by four. So it's the same. A white tier is the same as white tier for the ancient scroll as it is for the four slot, except the gold watering pot. So we're going to put the gold watering pot at the bottom. Okay, um, because, you, uh, right, six, well, it's yet to, it's yet to be determined, but let's see, the gold, I think six slots just is never worth it, okay, unless, unless you're finding like a, a blue or a purple one, even then, maybe not worth it, all right, let's look at the, the green tier, 35, 34, divided by six, so we're looking at 5.6, Green tier 21, or let's say 24, because you're not going to pick up a gold pot, gold watering pot, that is. Divided by 
four? What was that? Okay, that's six. And what was it? 34 divided by six. Okay, so it's starting to fall off here a little bit less in the green tier. 75 for blue divided by six. Again, 12 and a half and 51 divided by four. So again, the four slots are leading. And 125 divided by 6, 20, we're looking at 86 divided by 4, 21.5. So, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, I think you just don't pick up. Let's add, can we add another, add row below. Gotcha. Yeah, so we're going to put it in the new tier. It is new to the ground because you just dropped it on the ground. Okay, so in summary, if it's a gem, pick it up. If it's leafed, pick it up. If it has turquoise in it, pick it up. If it holds a candle on one slot and it is a platter, aka gold candle platter, pick it up. If it's a bangle and it faces up in its little gap, pick it up. And uh, if it's a one slot item in general, it's probably pretty good. So if I had one piece of advice for you, I would say if it's one slot, pick it up. If it's two slot or anything else, leave it on the ground. Uh, if it's two slot and it's of green and higher and you have gray slot one slots you can throw out two gray slots for a green or higher uh, or a white or higher two slot item now i would say if it's a two slot green chuck your gray one slots and replace those okay but anything four slot or more just just don't take it okay all right if you're just starting out, you're level one, whatever, take anything because you're probably going to die anyway. Um, so take anything, try to escape. It's fine. Don't have to worry about being efficient in the beginning. But when you have a really good gear equipped, you're high level, you're going into the red dungeons, right? You're trying to get really good gear as opposed to, you know, just the best uh, treasure or more quantity of treasure depending on your goals right if you're trying to hit the top 200 maybe that's different but essentially you want one slot treasure you want gems you want the fancy leaf thing you want the triple turquoise stuff and you want the 12 o'clock facing bangle holes in your treasure that's it for this video i hope this helped you out i hope you're all coping well waiting for the next dark and darker announcement whenever that may come so enjoy the rest of your day i'll see you next time take it easy okay if you made it to the end here's some quick tips for you i didn't know where else to put this in the video so there are some other items that are not treasure that might be worth picking up so give it a quick read i'll see you guys next time